Sometimes God's people suffer at the hands of the wicked because God is giving them time to repent, to stop their wickedness and to return to him. The Lord's concern is souls, and as we are saved people, our present comfort is not always the priority in these situations. Sometimes we will be allowed to become against for a time. Sometimes the weapons will be formed against us. Sometimes Satan will be allowed to sift us, but he will not be allowed to take our lives, and the weapons will not be allowed to prosper. And eventually these people, if they continue in their wickedness, if they refuse to repent after warning, after warning, after warning, then a time of judgment will come. What was sown will be reaped for all parties involved. So keep your thoughts clean in your time of suffering. Continue to bear fruit in keeping with repentance. Earnestly bless your enemies in Jesus' name. Proverbs 24, 19, 21. Do not fret because of evildoers or be envious of the wicked, for the evildoer has no future hope and the lamp of the wicked will be snuffed out. We fight on our knees in worship and in prayer. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Never think Jehovah Roi, the God who sees you, doesn't see your suffering and doesn't suffer with you. Never think he is perfectly fine with his child in pain. Would a good father ever feel this way? Nor does yours. Do you not understand his righteous anger in this time? Yet he loves us all. And as we will have eternity with him, he offers his opportunity to all. He gives the wicked many chances to repent. This is the process of a righteous and just God. Sometimes we will suffer and it won't seem fair, but in the greater picture, it is more than fair. It is justice by God's standard. He never leaves us in our time of suffering. He never forsakes us. He continues to give us what we need while giving the wicked time to repent so that they wouldn't perish and go to the lake of fire forever. As saved people, it is already finished for us. The joy of the Lord is our strength. We find shelter in the shadow of our Almighty. For these people, their eyes, their minds have been blinded by the God of this world, who was Satan, for their unbelief that has given them a reprobate mind and led them to come against God's people and, in essence, God himself. The Lord is patient with them, as he was with us. But make no mistake, everyone reaps what they sow. Pray for everyone. Be about your Father's business in Holy Spirit and pray that none perish in the lake of fire forever. In Jesus' name, hallelujah.